Truffles like these from Western China have a market value of 30 US dollars a kilogram, about 5% of what you'd pay for French truffles. Recently, they've created a lot of controversy. That's because cheap Chinese truffles are being exported to Europe and sold to consumers there as high-priced gourmet food. French truffle growers say their business is being undermined by unscrupulous local merchants. It's not the Chinese which are treating either people in Europe and France. Truffles grow underground and traditionally pigs are used to uproot them since they have a highly developed sense of smell and can forage for the delicacy, although dogs can be trained to find truffles too. Eventually they end up in kitchens like this one in Hong Kong where executive chef Mark Toutain works. Toutain especially likes Perigord truffles from southwestern France. He says they have far more natural flavor than competing Chinese products. The French truffle, you can make proper sauce, okay, with no additive. Chinese truffle, what uh, people have to do, kind of trick, is just to put like uh, truffle oil on it. Many consumers don't know about these tricks. That's why French scientists have worked to crack the genetic code of the Perigord so they can test food and positively identify the source of the ingredients. Many truffle importers welcome that effort. It will stop that we got fr truffles, uh, supposed to be uh, French truffles, and we get Chinese truffle. Which is good news if you really think there's a difference between the two. So let's put that to the test. On the right-hand side of your screen, these French truffles that just came out of the oven this morning, and on the left-hand side, these Chinese truffles. Let's see which one is more popular. At first, pigs from Hong Kong's Kadori farm seem to favor French truffles. Then they switch allegiance. But after thorough investigation, this sow rejected the Chinese truffles, returned to the tray full of Perigord, and ate one. You couldn't call this a scientific test, but it's firm proof that pigs are picky. Andrew Brown, CNN, Hong Kong.